And we're back with more video manual for the BK Precision 8522 DC electronic load. Today we're going to be looking at a single cell uh, PV. Uh, the open circuit voltage is uh, 0.5 and the short circuit current is 500 milliamps from the uh, manufacturer specs. And we've just got a uh, incandescent light bulb, 75 watt, uh, hooked up to a desk lamp. So we're going to try and get it as close as we can because the incandescence with the white covering isn't the greatest for PV cells. Uh, we'll turn on the BK Precision, goes through the cell test, and you can see we're getting a, a 0.57 uh, open circuit voltage with the output off. So that's, that's what we want, and we'll go from there. For the rest of the video, I'm going to assume that you've already established the communication with the BK Precision. I'm using the USB cable. And we're going to use the battery tester to test the PV cell. And we can go to the help uh, context and go to PV8500 functions and battery test function. And that's what I'm going to go through. So if you want to check it again, you can just go through there and it goes through all the steps that I'm doing here. So if we go to the top bar and click battery, then we come up with this battery discharge window. And our discharge current list is on the right. And we can either add manually uh, more delays and current values, or we can import a table from Excel. So I've made a PV test plan and the first column is the delay, or basically how long it's going to stay at that value, and the B column is the current draw. So for the first one, I want to draw 0 amps for 2 seconds, and then in increment in 5 milliamp all the way up to 550 milliamps. So you can make that in Excel and then go back to the battery discharge and click on import and PV test plan. Notice this is a XLS so you need to make it uh, 2003 compatible when you save it in uh, Word or Excel 2010 or 2007. So let's open that up and you get this weird error I'm not quite sure what that is but that comes up every time and you can look through the list and you can see that everything imported fine or all that to 550. So the other settings that the manual says is set a, a safety setting to stop the test. Uh, three minutes is fine for this one. Uh, we're doing uh, 5 milliamps to 550 in two second increments. So that's plenty of time. And then you want to set the sampling time and for two seconds we'll just try a two second sample and you can set the name of the test right there so I'm going to turn on the light for the PV cell and you don't have to turn the output on it does that automatically when you start the test so as soon as I get the light in place then we'll start the test so click on start And it's going through. And you can see on the dashboard that the values are changing. And the battery discharge window is saving the voltage. And this is capacity at the bottom in milliamp hours or amp hours. And that's for the battery discharge. That doesn't really make any sense for us in, with the PV cell. But this is just for storing data. So we'll come back when this test is over. So we're now at 425 milliamps of the current draw and you can see the current in blue here is peaked off at 0.6 and the voltage is at zero uh, noting uh, open circuit condition. Okay, it looks like our test is over, uh, three minutes. Okay, so now we're ready to view the port. 
and just remember that this is sample one. View the report, choose sample one, click display. There's all our data with the voltage, current, and amp hours, which doesn't make any sense for us. Uh, choose the Excel and click on export. It should bring up a new Excel book with all the values in it. So we can make another uh, power column, well, it's just multiplying the two uh, for all the values. And then if you want to plot it in Excel, uh, you can do that. Or you can import the Excel sheet into MATLAB. And we'll come back after we got a plot. So we've plotted our IV curve with voltage on the X axis and the current and also the power on the Y axis. The power is in red and I've marked the maximum power point for this cell, uh, 158 milliwatts. That's uh, just one cell. And then the open circuit or the voltage at the ma maximum power point. So I redid the test. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And I've got two curves now. One on top of the other, and they show good agreement between two tests. So the BK is doing the same uh, test pretty well uh, back to back. So I'll show you how to do two tests in a row. You can go back to the battery discharge and just click on repeat if you want to do two in a row, or if you want to append to another sample. So I've already done one uh, sample one, but I want to add another one to it that'll go into the same Excel file. So when I hit start, uh, it'll go through the test and then view a report. And once you get that, you'll get your Excel file after you go to export. And you can see this test was performed at 419. And then the next data point is 442. So that was obviously a second test. And you can append both of them and then you can uh, plot both of them at the same time if you want, or just select each one and that might help you organize your data better. Let's go back to here. And we can change the sampling time if the, you can see in this figure, it's kind of jittery. You can change your sampling time around and also the delay that it holds each value. You can see it's kind of holding the same value a little bit too long. Uh, if you want a little bit smoother curve, you can adjust those two values. So that is the testing of a PV cell using the battery function in the PV8500 software for the BK Precision 8522 DC electronic load.